what's up guys it's Kylie here and today I'm going to be doing gymnastics on my trampoline and I have my phone on my trampoline but I strapped it up so that it wouldn't move oh okay it might move a little bit but first I'm gonna be showing you easiest to hardest and I'm gonna be showing you 10 tricks on to do on your trampoline and I'll be teaching you how to do them. So first one, so first I will show you all the tricks and then I will teach you how to do them. Okay, so first we're gonna start off by, well, actually, first this is called just like split, split jump or a split jump, just simple or just split jump or the, or a split jump. It's really simple. So, there it is. It's a little movie. It's gonna, it's gonna move a little bit. I might have to fix it a couple times. Okay. So, there is that. So, if you're better at the middle split, then you can do the middle split one. If you're better at the side split, then you can do the side split one. I'm better at the side split one. Well, actually, I'm better at doing the side split on ground, but for doing it in the air, I'm actually better at doing the middle split because it's easier. So here's just both of them. Here's the middle split and here's the side split. go all the way in my side split but I can't do it in the air because I don't know I just can't get that high up in the air I mean I just can't get my legs high enough to do a full split but here's how you do it it's really easy I'm just gonna make sure you got a good jump start here and you're gonna go down up you're gonna do two jumps you go down one two and then do your thing do your split. So you can either, there's a couple things you can do with your hands. Here's number one. Here's number two. And here is number three. Oh, wait, I meant, here. This is what I meant to do. So my favorite, is the one with your arms out. Obviously, there's way more. Those are just my three favorite. So, first one, pretty simple. Ugh, it's hot outside today. I'm tired and I have grass in my socks. Okay, next. Next one is a forward roll. So, no. okay. So that's how you do it, and this one's pretty simple. Also, also you're gonna start with your hands. So you're actually gonna start feet together, salute, arms down, and then have to sorry, feet together, salute, arms together. You're gonna go back. Then you're going to bend down as you're putting your head over. Then you're going to, you don't want to stop here because then you have to use your hands to up. You want to do it all in one. So this is what you want it to look like. You want to stand right up from that. You don't want to do this. You don't want to stop here. You want to go really fast and stand up. And if you need a little boost with your hands, that's okay. Whew. Okay. I am tired. Okay. So I'm going to try not to stop this video. Otherwise, my phone's going to... Otherwise, while I'm editing it, it's going to say... Oh, um, oh, 
oh, you don't have enough storage, and then I'll have to delete like 12,000 photos. But I'm really tired right now. Usually I would stop the video and go get water, but oh, I should have brought my water out here. Okay, anyways, next thing is actually kind of like the first thing, or not the first thing, the one that we just did. It's called a four dive or a dive or a roll or a front roll. Kind of, it kind of has, oh, I don't know if I told you the name of the second one, but the second one that we just did was like roll or front roll or whatever. But this one, it's kind of the same, but we're gonna add a nice jump. So it's gonna look like this. Woo, my phone moved. I don't know if you saw that. So, just in case if you didn't see that, I'm going to do it again. Here you go. Like that. Okay. So, we're going to start off with doing our jump. So, this one's number three. So, we're going to start off with doing, you're going to go down and you're going to put your arms back and you're going to do a nice arm circle. And then you're gonna land back with your knees bent. So, oh, ready? And arm circle good. You're gonna get as high as you can. Okay, next step, you're gonna go arm circle and go down and touch the floor like this. Let's practice that. Arm circle down. Good. Okay. My shirt keeps untucking. Okay. Next, we're gonna start rolling forward with, with, okay. So we're gonna start just here, and you're gonna put your hands down and roll like that. Okay, now that you got the roll and you got the jump, now we're gonna put it all together. So we're gonna go back, jump, and then roll. And then we're also, before you do it, I kind of put my hands down and push off. So I kind of go up in the air a little bit, but not high. So, like this. Sorry. Whoa, that one, sorry. That one I did like a front handspring kind of. Ah. Oh my God. There's a bee. It was in my hair. That was scary. I was like, okay, I think I'm more scared of the sound that I made more than I am of the bee. I made the weirdest sound ever. But actually, it wasn't a bee. It was like a hornet or a wasp. And, dude, our wasps will not leave you alone. If you are just walking, minding your own business, It'll hop on you and sting you. So, anyways, let's get back into our thing while we were rudely interrupted. Okay. Jump up and roll. Good. Now you got number, oh, now you got number three. Let's head on to number four, which is actually getting a bit harder, but you guys got it. Okay, number four is simple. Um, it's actually probably simpler than the one that we just did. So if you can do a cartwheel, you're already halfway there. But if you can't do a cartwheel, that is perfectly fine. You can actually go watch my tutorial on how to do a cartwheel. Okay, so we're gonna start off by our simple cartwheel. And get used to do that. I'm scared. And get used to doing a cartwheel on the trampoline. So, just simple cartwheels. Okay. Once you are good with that, we are going to start adding a little bit of a twist. Okay. So. When you do your cartwheel, you add a twist, like this, and just 
from this sticky like this that is actually called a round off. If you did not know that, my shirt does not want to say tough wood. Okay, so like that, and then gonna keep getting better and better just keep practicing that twist. So more information on how to do a twist. When you go in your cartwheel, you're gonna take, instead of doing just two legs apart, instead of doing just two legs apart, like this, you're going to put your legs together after you land off and then twist your body. And then after you got that, we're gonna start pushing off into a great big jump like that. So, after you do that, it looks like this. And if you're on a twist, it's really fun to do. But, here you go. So like this. That's what it should look like at the end. Okay. Number five. We're going to be doing, oh my gosh. Guys, I am so hot. It's not even funny. Okay, we're gonna be doing a front handspring, kind of. It's a front tuck. Well, not front tuck, sorry. It's a front, it's a front roll. So you kind of jump, and you're gonna do one big jump, put your hands down, and you're gonna push off with your hands, and you're gonna land on your butt like this. So you go here, do that big jump. Yeah, I have to touch my shirt. Sorry. I got. I think I got skinnier because these pants do not fit anymore. They are. They are too big. Okay, so big jump and then. Oh my gosh, my phone. Okay. We're gonna go and jump and land on your butt. I'm gonna do this one more time. I'm trying to not make the phone bounce. Okay. Okay. Jump and then Oh. Okay, well, anyways, I know I said that we're doing 10, but you're gonna have to come back for part two because I am so hot and out of breath. I, I'm literally gonna go inside right now. I'm gonna take my phone off of here. But anyways, I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope that you learned some new tricks. Keep practicing every day. You will be to like a pro gymnastics. And maybe, who knows? One day you'll be in the Olympics. Well, anyways, bye. Awoo! <sighs>